one of my favorite stories is uh, about a guy who, this is before I worked at Bethesda Cares, and he was panhandling over by um, the Bethesda garage over near Barnes & Noble. And I'd see him, this was before I worked at Bethesda Cares, and I would give him, not money, because I didn't want to give him money, right, because I thought maybe he'd go buy booze, right? So I'd give him food, and he's very tall, so I'd buy him gloves or something, large size gloves, things that he needed. Um, and then, so then one day, and this is all true, um, I walked into a liquor store because of course I'm allowed to buy liquor, right? So I walk in and there he was, buying booze, and I thought, freaking done with you, I'm done. And I felt betrayed, which is crazy, because he didn't owe me anything. So fast forward to my work with Bethesda Cares. I was interviewing clients for a particular project, and it's 10 o'clock in the morning, I'm talking to a guy, he's got a, a hoodie on, and we're talking, and he's got a McDonald's cup. And I could smell it, it was not a McShake. You know, I'm looking at it, and he sees me looking at it. And, I mean, I, it's 10 o'clock in the morning, he's got booze in there. And he said to me, I know I shouldn't be doing this. I know I'm killing myself. He said, but every time I wake up, every morning I wake up in that metro station, and I think, if I don't kill my thoughts, I'm going to kill myself. He takes off the hoodie, and it's the guy I had dismissed four years earlier. It's the same guy. So was he in need? Yeah, he was in need. But what he needed wasn't my bagel or my gloves. He needed a home, and that's what he now has.